10 things to do in Hong Kong right now. Hey everyone, if you're looking for an insanely cool adventure that's a little bit chaotic, a whole lot delicious, and guaranteed to make your Instagram feed pop, get ready to strap in and fly with me to Hong Kong. Today, we're uncovering the top 10 things to do in Hong Kong right now, but first, let's kick things off with some mind-blowing and slightly bonkers facts about this dynamic city that will have you packing your bags in no time. Ready? Let's get started. Did you know that Hong Kong is the world's tallest urban jungle? With over 7,000 skyscrapers, it's like New York City decided to go on a skyscraper diet and then gave up halfway through. Get this, with over 100 ways to say, you're welcome in Cantonese, politeness here is an art form. You're welcome. And yes, there are 99 other ways I could say that. Forget about your credit cards. Hong Kong loves its cash. There's so much cash in circulation that you could probably paper mage a replica of Victoria Peak if you wanted to. Beaches Bonanza. Think Hong Kong is just skyscrapers. Think again. With over 50 beaches, it's like Malibu, but with better dim sum. Floating homes. There's a whole community living on boats. Forget houseboats. This is full-on floating villages with shops and everything. Talk about a unique commute. Lucky number obsession. You'll see phone numbers and license plates sold for crazy amounts of money, all because they have lucky numbers like eight. Time to update my lottery strategy. Toilet humor. Ever heard of goldfish toilets? They're a thing here. Fish swimming around in your toilet tank. Because why not? And weddings. Yes, that's right. Forget Vegas chapels. You can get married at McDonald's in Hong Kong. Complete with a golden arches backdrop and apple pie wedding cake. Bargain paradise. Hong Kong is a haggler's dream. Test your negotiation skills in the bustling markets. You might walk away with a designer knockoff and a new best friend named Auntie May. Now, let's talk about something interesting about apartment buildings in Hong Kong. Don't be puzzled if you ever notice there's no fourth floor. In Hong Kong, omitting the number four is a common practice. Why? Well, it's because the word four in Chinese sounds a lot like the word death, so it's considered unlucky. On the brighter side, the number eight is highly favored because it symbolizes wealth. So, while the fourth floor might be missing, the eighth floor will likely bring some extra good vibes. And here's a kicker. From May to November, Hong Kong experiences its typhoon season. But fear not because Hong Kong has a highly efficient system to handle these tropical storms. Keep an eye out for the signals. A T1 means a storm is on the horizon, giving you days of preparation. When it escalates to a T3, the storm is gaining speed and even kindergarten children get a day off from school. Now, when you hear T8 or T10, brace yourself. Wings reaching up to 180 km per hour are about to swirl across Hong Kong, leading to the cancellation of work, school, and public transport, a signal that it's time to stay safe indoors. All right, enough weirdness for now. Now that we've got your attention with those crazy Hong Kong facts, let's get down to business. If you're planning to visit or are in the capital city already and wondering what to do, stick around because we've got the ultimate Hong Kong itinerary lined up for you. If you have not already done so, we highly recommend you subscribe to our channel as we will be making videos on all the major cities in the world. Number one, our first stop is the stunning Hong Kong skyline, a sight to behold. But why just gaze at it from the land when you can hop on the vibrant green star ferry and capture the city's magnificence from the water? This iconic ferry has been cruising Victoria Harbor since the late 19th century, offering one of the best experiences in Hong Kong. What's even better is that it's budget-friendly. As you set sail, you'll find yourself in a bustling harbor alive with maritime activity. It's not just busy. It's a refreshing escape from the dense city core. The cool breeze sweeps through your hair, 
providing a delightful contrast to the urban hustle. As you approach the island, the main route takes you from Kowloon to Hong Kong, offering a breathtaking view of the lush mountains behind the elegant towers. For an extra treat, catch the ferry at night and witness the enchanting symphony of lights illuminating the cityscape. Number 2. Next, let's take a trip to what locals simply call the Peak. This mountain stands tall at 1,600 feet above Hong Kong, offering breathtaking views comparable to the famous harbor. Now, getting to the top can be an adventure in itself. If you've got the time and the energy, you might opt for a trek up the mountain. Picture this, a paved path winding through the central district for about 1.6 miles, taking roughly an hour to complete. But, and it's a big but, Hong Kong's notorious heat might make you reconsider. Fear not, multiple buses are ready to whisk you to the summit. For the cherry on top, hop on the historic Peak Tram, which has been in operation since 1888, guaranteeing you the most scenic views on your way up. Number 3. Are you feeling a craving for some insightful fun? Then, it's time to head over to the Hong Kong Museum of History, where you'll embark on an epic journey through time captured by your camera. This museum offers two significant highlights that will leave a lasting impression. First off, let's talk about chronology. Picture this, a thousand-year journey unfolding before your eyes, starting from the earliest settlements and laying out the foundations of Hong Kong with meticulous detail. You'll be transported along the timeline, encountering remarkable exhibits like a vivid recreation of an arcade street from the 1880s and a full-size replica of a junk ship. Plus, short but captivating movies will keep you engaged every step of the way. Now, let's talk about the museum's unique narrative. Here, the curators proudly showcase the history of Hong Kong with no external influence, giving you an authentic glimpse into the city's past. Number 4. Now, if you're up for exploring the spiritual side of Hong Kong, make your way to the Wong Tai Sin Temple in Kowloon. Though first established in the early 1900s, this temple got a complete makeover in 1968 adding a vibrant touch to Hong Kong's spiritual landscape. Dedicated to Wong Tai Sin, a revered Taoist god known for bringing good luck and healing the sick, this temple offers a colorful experience. Roam around the captivating Good Wish Garden, visit the Hall of Three Saints, and don't miss the Grand Hall honoring Confucius and his disciples. As you step inside, you'll encounter fortune tellers, rows of joss sticks, and incense candles filling the hall with a fragrant ambience. And mark your calendar for September, when the temple comes alive with the Mid-Autumn Festival, celebrating Wong Tai Sin's birthday. Picture this, a mesmerizing display of lanterns illuminating the temple grounds as part of the festivities. Number 5. Are you feeling a bit adventurous after your temple exploration in Kowloon? Hold on to your excitement, because the Temple Street Night Market is about to elevate your Hong Kong experience. Picture this. After the clock strikes 6 p.m., the market comes to life, buzzing with vibrant energy. Stroll through the lively stalls offering everything from quirky trinkets and local fashion to the occasional electronic gadget. And let's not forget the treasure trove of traditional handmade crafts and dazzling jade jewelry that glimmers under the neon lights adding a touch of glamour to the market scene. Oh, and did I mention the street food? Brace yourself for a culinary delight, as this market boasts some of the city's best and most budget-friendly eats. From savory local delights to mouth-watering treats, your taste buds are in for a treat. So, give it an hour or so for the atmosphere to peak. Trust me, this is an experience you want to share with a bustling crowd. Number 6. Let's take a culinary journey through the vibrant paradise for food lovers, Hong Kong. Thanks to its rich colonial history, strong Chinese influence, and distinct individuality, the city boasts an incredible food scene that might seem impossible to explore fully during your stay. However, that won't stop us from trying. 
With thousands of restaurants, Hong Kong offers a global culinary experience. Picture this. You can savor a mouth-watering dim sum and then indulge in a traditional English tea in one city. It's the beauty of Hong Kong's food landscape. It adapts to your every craving. Suppose the variety feels a bit overwhelming. No worries. You can focus on the local delicacies beloved by the Hong Kong locals. Dive into Win San Chicken, relish Phoenix Talons, chicken feet, and savor shrimp dumplings that will tantalize your taste buds. Number 7. Now, you can't visit the vibrant city of Hong Kong without diving into its fascinating history. Picture this, back in the 1830s, during the Opium War, Britain made a bold move and invaded China, with one of its first significant acts being the occupation of Hong Kong. Fast forward to 1841, and Hong Kong officially became a British colony, a status it held for 150 years. The city has since transformed into a bustling modern metropolis, showcasing 21st century architecture and thriving international business. Yet, amidst the gleaming skyscrapers, the real gems are the old colonial buildings painted in soft pastel hues. Before the British arrived, Hong Kong was a quaint collection of fishing villages. But with colonial rule, the island underwent rapid development, leaving behind a legacy of historic buildings that still grace the landscape today. Number 8. Ready for a delightful escape from the urban hustle? Look no further than Lan Tor Island's charming Tai Ao fishing village, offering a serene glimpse into a bygone era long before the Opium War. Nestled on the island's west end, Tai Ao feels worlds away from the modern buzz of Hong Kong, with quiet streets preserving a traditional way of life that beautifully complements your colonial architecture tour. Wander through this picturesque village, where many homes stand on stilts above waterways, each accompanied by a small dinghy serving as the primary mode of transportation to local markets. While popular among tourists, the experience remains poignant and peaceful. Engage with the locals, who often offer boat rides along the tidal flats, providing a unique perspective of the village. Afterward, explore the local market, indulging in fresh catches before they reach the city. Beyond the fishing scenes, venture slightly inland to discover a delightful community offering some of the best street food. Don't miss out on treats like salted fish and the Tai Ao Husband, a delectable pizza roll filled with shrimp and pork. Number 9. Are you looking for a break from the hustle and bustle of Hong Kong's vibrant city life? Well, how about a day at the beach? It might not be the first thing that comes to mind, but believe it or not, beach days in Hong Kong are a favorite among locals. Repulse Bay, in particular, takes the crown as the go-to destination. Despite its name, there's nothing repulsive about it. Picture yourself on its golden sands, surrounded by calm waters and the company of locals, as most travelers are reluctant to bid farewell to the captivating energy of downtown. Beyond the beach, the streets exude an air of luxury, with an extravagant beachfront boulevard boasting upscale restaurants and trendy boutiques. Number 10. And finally, as the clock strikes eight every night, the enchanting symphony of lights transforms the Hong Kong skyline into a dazzling spectacle. Since its inception in 2004, this nightly extravaganza has earned its place among the top light shows worldwide. To make the most of this visual delight, we recommend arriving early at the Tsim Sha Tsui Promenade, especially if you haven't timed your green ferry trip perfectly. From this vantage point on Victoria Harbour, you'll be treated to panoramic views of Hong Kong Island and the majestic Victoria Peak. So, grab some snacks, perhaps a cup of hot cocoa, Find a comfortable spot and let the show unfold. With over 40 participating buildings, the symphony takes you on a unique journey, showcasing the spirit, diversity, and energy of Hong Kong. Concluding our exploration of Hong Kong, we've delved into some of the city's most captivating and delightful experiences. However, 
Remember that our journey only scratches the surface of what Hong Kong has to offer. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a culinary adventurer, or simply seeking a good time, Hong Kong caters to every type of traveler. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Share your experiences at the mentioned places or suggest other cities you'd like us to cover. Thanks for being part of this adventure and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more travel insights and intriguing facts. Here's to more discoveries and happy exploration. Cheers.